What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this justified Kabolian team. And guys, I am so hyped. This Pokemon is so cool. I'm so glad they allowed him in Gen 8 and in ranked battles. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support. Rocking out on this team, like I said, we got Kabalia Justified with Choice Band. It is a fighting and steel type. This thing is so good. So good, and it looks amazing as well. It has Sacred Sword for stab damage, Stone Edge for coverage, Iron Head for stab, and Close Combat for stab as well. Chances are we're going to Justify it and boost him with the Feed Up Whimsicott and Dynamax out and roll out. If not, we'll Choice Band him to a move, probably either our stab moves. And then roll out from there. We got Women's Cop, Wimp Moon Blast, Tailwind, Beat Up, and Helping Hand. Normal move set with him with Prankster and Focus Sash. We got our boy Rotom. Rotom's making a little of a turn. I haven't used Rotom in a good bit with that. Normal move set for him as well. Levitate Ability, Citrus Berry, T Bolt, Hydro Pump, Nancy Plot to set up that special attack and protect. Big boy Dragon Bolt over here. Special attacking Dragon Bolt with that weakness policy. Draco Meteor. We got Shadow Ball. Thunder and Protect. We got Tess Arena over here, which is actually pretty cool. We're gonna show off a new Gen 8 move that came out in the Isle of Armor, which is Triple Axle. It is a new Ice move, and it hits three times, and the base power raises for each time it's successfully hit. So it goes from 20 base power to 40 to 60, and I believe I was reading up on it. It's like a 92% chance of all three of them hitting, so potentially it is a 120 base Ice power. So or ice power move we'll see we'll see how that move works out we got power whip high jump kick and taunt with that wide lens so that high jump kick hits more and sweet veil rocking out in our final spot we got indeedy over here male indeedy i don't really use male indeedy too too much so this one's gonna be cool male indeedy learns trick room and has mystical fire we can imprison the trick room and we have expanding force as well this thing is also holding the life orb that's gonna be pretty cool we can potentially get him in the Psychic Surge, roll out with Expanding Forces, do double damage over here, and get that Life Orb damage boost as well. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, front the code is at the bottom of the screen. You already know it. I'm ready for this one. Like, Kobalion so cool. I do not know the last one. Why can't I think of the last uh, Legendary that goes with them? It's Kobalion, Terrakion, and what are the other ones? Let me know in the comment section down below, because I'm really just drawing a blank right here. Hopefully, uh, by the time this video goes live, I will actually uh, figure this one out. But if not, leave it in the comment section down below for me. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and show off Kobalion. What's this dude doing? This team looks like it's something you would use in Season 1. Like, come on, man. Come on. Look at that. He has Darmantan. Haven't seen that in forever. Obscoon. Haven't seen that in forever. Gyarados, Grimmsnarl, Hatterene, and Cinderace. Obviously, Cinderace. That thing is an absolute beast. But this thing is steel typing. So I do have to watch out for that, uh, that Cinderace. The Cinderace is rather scary. He's rather scary. I want to check out these stats. I know I have 30 seconds left to pick. I just want to see his stats. He's uh, attacking speed. This thing looks so dope. He's looking so dope. So I really do want to go into... Kabalian, but I think indeed he's gonna be the call here because I don't want him going Cinderace and just rolling me out. I'm gonna go Whimscott, bring Kabalian in the back, and then I think I'm gonna uh, bring uh, either Rotom or Dragapult. Rotom or Dragapult. Who do I want, man? Who do I want? I think I'm gonna take uh, I think I'm gonna take Dragapult. He does some work here. He does some work. He's got the dragon moves. He got the, the ghost moves that does work on the Hatterene. He has the thunder coverage, the electric move to do work on the Gyarados. But I've been getting a lot of comments and DMs over on, on my Instagram page of people who want to battle me and all that good stuff. If you guys want to battle me, head in that link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch every single Thursday. I've been trying to do viewer tournaments. So if you guys are interested, head down that link. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications so I so you know when I go live. But you can start Mantan and, uh, and Grimmy Poo. So we actually could have just went straight up into a... Uh, into a what's it called he can't fake me out which is nice but i could have went into beat up and go from there but i think he was gonna fake out and take out my whimscott or something so i'm gonna set up a tan one no problemo and i'm just gonna drop an expanding force just just gonna drop an expanding force over on you and then i'm going to uh i'm gonna set up this tail one just right quick get that rolling do some damage on that third man tan, and then roll out with the moon blast and all that i don't know which all the grims are okay lovely that is just lovely Oh my god, I'll take that all day because Expanding Force is going to come out, double hit, and then I can probably take out the Cinderace and roll from there. So, tough little play by him. I feel like we're looking pretty good here. I feel like we're looking pretty good. Indeed, he's going to Expanding Force with that Life Orb. Let's get it. What you want, fool? Yay! Oh, oh my lord. Yo, Indeed, he chill. Indeed, he chill out. Double kill right off the rip. He was not expecting Life Orb male Indeed to come out here and just murk him. Take out his two attacking Pokemon with their Manton. Instant race, and this might be one of the quickest battles we are going to see. He has to go Grimstone. I'm gonna expanding force again and just throw a moon blast. Bruh. Bruh. Yo, I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> 
We have no effect on both of them. Okay, we cannot go for another one of them. Um, I guess I'll just mystical fire over on the Grimmsnarl. Um, but do we double up on the Grimmsnarl? Yeah, let's double up on the Grimmsnarl. Let's get that thing out of here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We just dumped on both of those Pokemon. He's got a Dynamax Opsicune, right? He's got a Dynamax Opsicune. I'm guessing it might be Flame Orb with Guts. And then potentially have Facade to double hit under the... Under the Static Condition and then the Guts for more damage. And he could potentially just one-tap a bunch of Pokemon. But I'm going to get out my boy after this Kabalion and roll from there. Alright, Opsicune protects. This thing is totally Guts. Good thing we did double up in the Grimmsnarl. What is the Grimmsnarl going to do? Sucker Punch. And we're protected by the Psychic Terrain. Stupid, bro. Get him out of my face. Is this dude not even going to get off a shot? I don't even think he's going to get off a shot. Unless, indeed, he takes him out here. I think we just chill here. I think we got this one in the bag. Let's go. Mystical Fire. Does not take out. But still, Wimscott is going to go first. He's going to be able to take out that. And <laughs> we're going to roll from here. The Guts do trigger. Guys, come on. What more do you guys want? This video isn't even about Kabalion anymore. It's about Mail and Didi. <laughs> About Mail and Didi, be chillin'. He's got Dynamax, right? He just cancels, yo. Quickest battle? Let's get it. 1-0. Let's try to show off Kabalion in the next battle. Come on, guys. We just dumped on that first opponent. That expanding force right off the rip took out Cinderace and Darmantan. That was a bad swap by him, but we just double killed and rolled out there. That was one of the quickest matches I had in a little bit. But second battle going on here, I think he's going to lead Meowth Stick for the fake out and maybe Arcanine. I kind of want to go into beat up. But at the same time, I do not want to, just in case the fake out comes out, and then he takes out my Whimsicott. So, blah, 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 who should I go? Kind of want to set up that Psychic Terrain as well. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I'm going to go same lead. I feel like same lead kind of, like, does work, because we can uh, control that fake out from that Meow Stick. I can potentially get up that Tailwind and roll from there, and then bring Kabalion in the back. And then in the final spot, it's either Polt or Rotom. Poltski or Rotom. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want that Rotom, but I don't know, that Tesserine is looking pretty good as well. That Tesserine isn't looking too bad. <laughs> is that Fighting, which will take out that, uh... Yeah, I think we might go... Hmm. It's a tough one. This is a tough one. Go Pult. Could go Rotom. I feel like Rotom is just the best. Rotom is just all around. It's such a good Pokemon. Especially Rotom Wash. And that Scissor Berry helps him out tremendously. Well, let's get rolling from here. Let's get rolling from here. We're going same lead. I don't want to get faked out off the rip, so I go into expanding force. Then I'll potentially bring in Kabalion. Even if we do not have the just five boost, I still might Dynamax him because he's very, very strong. And I'm hoping I can get it. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what he goes into. He's got to go Meowstic, right? He goes into Meowstic. Yep, Meowstic and Sylveon. Okay, so no fake out coming from him. He might just uh throw out T waves, all that good stuff. Psychic Surge is here. I'm definitely going to drop an Expanding Force and try to get that speed advantage. Try to get that speed advantage, yeah. Oh, yeah. Expanding Force, what you want? Going after you, Sylveon. And we're going to go for that Tailwind. Or I can help me hand that. Nah, I'd rather get that Tailwind off. Start taking speed advantage. Go from there. Same thing as last match. Like You guys already know how strong Expanding Force is. It is so good. It is so good. But he's probably going to go into a Hyper Voice. He can't fake out, which was awesome. Which is tight. Nice. Tailwind comes out. Hopefully he goes for a fake out. I don't think he did because it would have went first. But then he goes for a light screen. Okay, so Meowstic is just going to set up screens and pester around that way. And we'll see what happens here. Mystical Fire coming out? It's going to come out here. And we get a little bit of built action. Not bad damage. Light screen definitely did help out tremendously. And this thing is going to switch out with an eject button. Okay, so that's pretty big for him. He's going to switch out with that eject button after he gets open light screen. And Sylveon's probably going to go for a Hyper Voice. Hopefully, it's going for, like, just something up against my Ndidi. I would like that a lot, but we'll see. All right, so Ferrothorn comes out here. I'm cool with that. Hyper Voice comes out. The real question is, hmm. And that thing is Throat Spray. Okay, no, but this thing will be super effective to me. My Kabalion. Okay, so we're going to play this one slow. We're going to go here. I'm going to throw a Mystical Fire over on you. And then, hmm. I think I'll just Moonblast and do some more damage over onto you. Because if both these guys go down, it's silly fine by me. He's going to withdraw you now. Okay, that's silly fine. He's going to get back out Meowstic, I'm guessing. Yep, he's going to get Meowstic right back out here. Smart play. That Moonblast coming out here. I should have went for another expanding force then. Boop. A little bit of damage. Light screen, he's just going to pester around with it. Let's go fire. Nope, doing more damage. I think he's going to pick up the double kill here with that Hyper Voice. So we got uh, speed advantage for the next two turns, which I'm cool with. Hyper Voice comes out. Yeet. See you later. See you later, Ndidi. He played that one actually very, very well. Right off the rip with that Meowstic and that uh, 
That's Sylveon. But I didn't want the fake out. And I didn't want him to take out my Whimscott turn one. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to go Kabalion Road Time. We're going to Dynamax that Kabalion. We're going to get rolling out with that. We're getting after it. We're getting after it. I could go for a Steel Spike Booster Defense. I could go for a Max Knuckle Booster Attack Stat. All that good stuff. Look how cool he looks. He looks like Big King of Light like, the Forest or something. He looks amazing. But we're getting after this one. We're going to Steel Spike over on you. He might swap that Sylveon. Do I say he does swap the Sylveon? Hold the phone. I kind of want to say he swaps the Sylveon. Can we go for the Knuckle? Bro, I really want to do that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to drop a Max Knuckle on him. I'm going to say he swaps that. I'm going to make I'm gonna make the read. I'm going to make the hard read, and I'm going to double up into you. Or do I plot up? I'm going to plot up. I'm going to try Nasty Punches. Let's see, let's see how this rolls out. Show me the swap. Show me the big old swap from Sylveon. And I don't think he swaps because it would have went first. So, bad boy coming out on our end. I could have sworn he was going to swap. We should have just went for the Steel Spike and went chilling from there. But I'm going to pull out up here. Like I said, we have, we'll have Speed Advantage next turn. So, we can do some more. I totally should have just dropped a Steel Spike. Picked up the free KO. Usually the simple plays do work in Pokemon. But I wish he would have swapped. He's going to yawn. And we are protected by a Psychic Terrain, which is awesome. Knuckle comes out here. Not going to pick up the KO here. He's going to pick up a Hyper Voice to do some damage. Man, I totally should have at least doubled into it and secured it. I always second guess myself. I always second guess myself. Let's go here. We're going to set up a plot. We're going to get a plot in here. And he's definitely going to go into a Hyper Voice and trigger my Citrus Berry and do some nice damage over onto that Kabalion. Let's see. Hyper Voice. Yeet. Okay, we go. We chillin'. We chillin'. Okay, so now we're, we got control here. We totally have control. We're plus one on attack board. I mean, I think my Pokemon are fast all around. So, I'm just gonna go for a Steel Spike. I'm gonna start getting that defense boost. Take out you. And then... Or do I take out the Meowstic and say a T-Bolt takes out that? Hmm. Now, you know, I'm just gonna drop a T-Bolt over on you. Come on, baby. What you want? Is he gonna swap now? Okay, he doesn't swap now. We get that Steel Spike. We're getting that defense boost as well. But not bad plays. And now we still have one more turn in our Dynamax. And our Rotom is plus two. I still think we outspeed most of his Pokemon. Especially at least the big old deer guy over here. This speed's pretty solid. His speed is not bad at all. The Tailwind is gonna end here. T-Bolt should be able to come out here and pick up the KO. With plus two. You send it. See you later. Get him out of here, kid. But he still has the, that light stream. But that doesn't affect deer guy. Doesn't affect big old deer. This one's gonna be close. This one's gonna come down the wire because I know he's gonna Dynamax. Like I said, I am plus one, so this could come up clutch. Could come up cl clutch, the plus one. He has Firethorn, which I I think he's just gonna protect and I could uh take that thing out. Urshifu comes out here. Okay. Urshifu popping out here. That's totally fine by me. I gotta double up in that Urshifu. That Urshifu is definitely Dynamax Mon. Max Knuckle is the only thing that does work on it. So I'm gonna go here. I seriously think Firethorn is going to protect. So I'm definitely going to double up into Urshifu here. Urshifu's got a Dynamax, right? And Ferrothorn's... I think I, th I think Ferrothorn's going to protect. But if he doesn't, he's going to power whip and take out my Rotom, which is kind of scary. Which is kind of scary. Let's just see what happens here. So here comes the Dynamax out from... Um, like I said, I'm guessing Urshifu. I think if we double up, we could do some big damage to it. I don't know if we're going to take it out. Let's just see what happens. Yep, big old G Max Urshifu coming out here, and this is the water one. So he's probably gonna hit my Kabalion. Leave my Kabalion alone, man! Hopefully, we both outspeed him. That's what I'm hoping. Show me protect from Ferrothorn. Give it to me. No protect. He's going straight for that, what's it called? That power whip, probably. Max Uncle comes out here. We do a little bit of damage. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm hoping this T Bolt can come in clutch. I think the light chain's gonna cancel it out. Maybe make us not get a kill. Attack boost is up, and his Urshifu outspeeds. Urshifu outspeeds my Rotom. Let's see how much damage. Kabalion eats all day. All day, baby. All day. Let's get it, Kabalion. Let's get it, baby. This thing's attack's gonna raise, so he's definitely taking out my Rotom unless he misses. I mean, unless you're going for, like, a leech or something. T-Bolt comes out, dumps on him. We should have this one in the bag now. A Max Knuckle should be able to, or not a Max Knuckle, our choice Bandit move in the close combat or Sacred Sword should be able to take out that, uh, that Ferrothorn. Ooh-wee, yo, Rotom coming in clutch right there. Seed Bomb coming in. That's saying bye-bye the Rotom. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Rotom. And Kabalion's going to potentially clutch this one up. Plus two? Choice band move coming out here? Come on, man. What you want? What you want? Against a Ferrothorn? And it's sad. Like, oh my god, yo. This should be big damage. 
No, it's either Close Combat or uh, Secret Sword. Whichever one I want to go into. Let's see. Secret Sword is 90 power. Hmm. The target stat changes do not affect this damage. Or uh, Close Combat is the better thing. Higher accuracy. Should be able to just dump on it. Say Night Night to it. Even though Secret Sword looks 10 times cooler. Secret, I mean, Close Combat is base 120 power. So if I'm looking to pick up the KO, I'm going straight into that. Get it, Kabalion. Clutching it up. You and Rotom coming up big in the end. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Make a move, Ferrothorn. That T-Bolt was huge to take out that Urshifu. It was all because I did that nasty plot. Close combat comes out. Give me the win. Gives us the win. Let's go. 2-0, baby. 2-0. We're looking to go perfect here. Iron Barb's going to do damage, but my Kabalion still stays alive. But we're 2-0. We're looking to go 3-0 and have a perfect record for today's video. Let's get it. I'm a little confused here for third and final battle. Look at this dude's team. He has Kingdra over here with no rain. And everything's just, that's just throwing me off a lot. It's really just throwing me off a lot unless he wants to set his own rain. He has the Hatterene and Indeedee to potentially set up Trick Room, Amoongus, Urshfu, and Liberia Cinerace. Uh, who should I go out into? Who should I do? I don't want to go into, actually, I could go into Limscott and Taunt if I really want to. We're going to beat up and beat up Kabalion. Could, could go for that. Let me check out Speed real quick. If he, if he runs Trick Room, that's going to be tough. Or I can just go in DD and imprison Trick Room. How about we do that? How about we do that? We'll go there, and then we'll go into... Hmm. So we go Poltsky first, sir, and I could go Tesserine. Could go Whimsicott. Hmm. kind of want to go Rotom here. I don't want to go Rotom, imprison, and then roll from there. And bring Kabalion in the back. We might not even go beat up with it, and then bring Poltsky as a final mod. I think that's Skull. I think that is totally the call here. But you guys already know the, the little beat-up play to send off the Justify Kabalion. You guys you guys seen it plenty of times. I did it with Terrakion. I did it with other Pokemon in the past. So I don't really feel like I need to show it off too, too much. I just feel like I need to show off Kabalion, which we already did in battle number two. He rocked out there and ran it. Battle number one was just an easy expanding force game over. But we're sitting here in the third and final battle trying to get that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We're going for it. He's going to probably follow me, try to go for a Trick Room. I'm going to imprison that. For a second, I almost forgot that we can imprison Trick Room. I almost forgot. I was like, bro. Like, I was like, I thought we, we had Follow Me and all that. But this is Mail and DD. I don't really use it too much. But the best part is his ears. They look like croissants. Croissants right there. It's actually pretty funny. But we're going to imprison this up. And we're going to go for a plot. I'm going to try a nasty plot up. I am going to nasty plot up. Yeah, go for a Follow Me and a Trick Room. Go ahead. I really don't care. Because I'm a imprison and I'm a nasty plot. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think I'm a Dynamax Rotom here. Go ahead, go for that trick room. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, go for the trick room. Please, please go for trick room. Oh my lord, oh my lord, look at that. Nice little start here. And now I can expanding force, actually. Mm, I could miss go fire and just drop this thing's a uh, special attack. Actually, I'll drop your special attack. And I'm gonna get after you with a geyser. Or I could change the terrain up. I want to do. I actually kind of want to keep this train for a little bit. I'd rather set the rain and then go into the electric train. Let's go into this. Let's set that rain, baby. Let's set that rain. We're plus two, yo. Nice little nasty plot set up. Way to imprison the trick room. And we got basically a free plus two. And now Rotom's going to Dynamax and do some work all around. And his team is slow. His team is so slow. Go ahead. Withdraw Hatterene and go into who? Who are you going into? Thank you. You better be going for a follow me. You better be going for a follow me, man. You better be going for a follow me. Buddy, buddy, you better be going for a follow me. Because if not, your Cinderace is dead. It is getting dumped on. It is gone. Get it out of there. <laughs> Big old HP boost. And we're going to get after it. Let's get after it. Follow me. Okay, you lucky biscuit. You little lucky biscuit. Okay, so we got lucky biscuit over here. And guys are coming out here. We better hope this thing doesn't have like a grass move or an electric move. Geyser should be able to do some mean damage to it. Take it out, and a mystical fire is going to go that way. And looking pretty good, man. We looking pretty good. I think I'm going to want to go into an electric move. Change that terrain up. We'll see. Mystical fire comes out. We're going to do a little bit of damage to this thing. Deed skis. It's Cinerace for the back end, man. And now he still has Hatterene. We got special attack drop. Wonderful. Now I'm definitely not. No, I'm not going to change up the terrain. I'm going to go into expanding force here. Because it's going to be big damage all around. That's the race. He's going to get back out of Moongi. Moongi's probably going to try to Spore here. Um, I'm going to take out of Moongi's with Expanding Force. And I'm just going to drop Geyser over on the Cinderace side. Might go for a Rage Powder. But you know what? I'm cool with it. I think he's going to Dynamax and maybe go for a Rage Powder. 
We sitting good. We sitting good with Kabalion in the back and Dragapult as well. There goes his Dynamax. It's in race. That's totally fine. And yeah, I think Amoongus might go down here either way. I think Amoongus is dead. So I don't think we have to worry about Amoongus. If we can eat up a uh, shot we can, and he stays fire typing, he's dead. That's all I was thinking going lightning. He might try to take speed advantage and go into an airstream. So let's just see what happens. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Mage Powder comes out. Comes out here. Indeedy, go before. Does Indeedy go before? I don't think Indeedy goes before. Just like comes out here. And leave me alone. Stop trying to boost your defense, old boy. Go after my Rotom, please. Go after my Rotom, please. Go after my Rotom. Ah, leave my Indeedy alone. Bro, what you mean? Okay, so you go down. Rage Powder is looking tough. Rage Powder's not doing as well. You gonna boost his defense up? Like I said, we're plus two still, which is nice. The geyser is coming out here. Amoongus on the Moongus side, which is lucky duck. We're gonna... Wow, Rotom. Rotom did some work there. My boy Rotom just did some work. Okay, so we need a faster mount. I think I'm gonna go Polsky here. And just take out that uh, Amoongus. I would go... I'm thinking of going Kabalion, but I think I'll save Kabalion for the back end. Let's go Pole here, play it safe. Because I know he is faster than all of them. So I can drop a nice little Shadow Ball, take him out, take the Moongus out, and then I'll be able to drop another uh, move onto the Cinderace, a water move. So I'm just going to go Shadow Ball here, say see you later to you, and then I'm going to just drop a Geyser. I don't, I don't want to change up that terrain. We're going to keep that terrain. We're going to rock out with that terrain. What are you going for, kind sir? I don't think he can take out my Rotom in one shot. I really do not think so. So we actually might guard here and try to waste out this last turn. See what happens. Shadow Ball comes out. See you later. He does not guard. I'll say bye bye to you. Get him out of here. And then we coming up big here. We coming up big. Get off this guy. Take out the Cinderace. He's going to go for an airstream. Boost his speed up. Gonna change his typing. And I think he's going to take out the pole here. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Oh, imagine if I would have went into that Thunder. He's going to go after the pole. Look how strong this thing is. It's just, it's just ridiculous how strong this thing is. Can you take him out, please, Rotom? Rotom, can you do him dirty, man? Rotom, do him dirty. I know my Kabbalion can take out that Hatterene, no problem. Do him dirty. Yeah, he took a little bit of damage. Do him dirty, Rotom. You're plus two, buddy. You're plus two. I love you. I love you so much, Rotom. And yo, that first play of the game made us win this game. We're going 3-0 today, baby. 3-0 in today's video, dominating with Kabbalion squad. Bruh, let's get it. Kabbalion's just going to come out here. I have Iron Head. I'll take a Hatterene in one shot. No problem. It'll be Choice Bandit as well. And Stat. And Super Effective. It's Night Night. It's GG. Good games, people. We too good right here. We are too good. Rolling out here. First battle was so quick. Second battle, we rocked out. And third battle, we made one of the nicest calls in the beginning of the games. That was phenomenal. We we're just like, all right, I'm a prison and I'm a set up. And I'm a set up. And once we set up, that's that's what won us the game. I'll go into a T Bolt. I think he's going to uh, cancel out the battle anyway. Come on, show Kabali on at least getting off the Iron Head. They do. Yeet. Choice Bandit. This thing's gone. Get it out of here. Get going. Get, get going, yo. Easy three wins in today's video. Rocked out. Dude, I told you, yo. This thing's a beast, and I love them. I love this Pokemon. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I forget who the third one is. I believe there's a fourth one, too, that matches up with the Cavalion Terrakion. I think it might be Virisian and Keldeo. Am I correct? Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below. But if those two Pokemon are allowed, Virisian and Keldeo, somebody make me a team with them. I would love to get myself a team to use on the rank ladder with them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.